How do you go from something like this to this? In this video, I'll tell you the secret sauce so that you don't have to spend thousands on really expensive lenses to get this effect. In fact, this is just my phone right here recording. It's actually pretty simple and you should have studio if you want to do this the faster, more efficient way. If you don't have studio, then go get studio. I don't know what you're waiting for. Anyways, all right, let's go into the color page. I've already modified a few things right here in this clip, so don't worry too much about it. And now, question for you. If you know if this is the right color space for Samsung videos or Samsung phone videos, let me know. I'm never entirely sure. I was able to find out these, but I'm never entirely sure. Okay, now let me show you the effect. First, we're going to need one node right here. And we're going to press Shift S right here at another one in the back. We're going to disconnect these and connect these to that one. And now we're going to connect these there and use these as a mask or as an alpha on this one right here. On this one, we're going to use the depth map effect, but you can also use a magic mask if your clip is not really long that you, so that you don't have to track for hours. All right, we have the depth map right here. We can press Shift H to see how it's working. By default, this is going to be off. Just click on adjust map levels. And now you can make whatever is further away from you not be part or not be taken into account for our effect. So whatever is black is what's going to be carried over onto the next clip that we have right here. And that is the area that is going to be affected by the effect that we're going to put here. All right. Uh, we can also make sure that this is near limit. So make sure that your subject is as white as possible right here. That way, none of the effect is going to be leaking or spilling into this one right here. We can also adjust the map gamma right here and then also isolate and just play around with these until you get the result that you want. I'm going to press Ctrl V right here and get the values that I've used previously that I liked how they looked. Now, before we continue, let me just mention that I just updated the paper full effects in the text effects pack. There's a previous video that I talk about the update, so make sure to check that out and also check out the links in the description to check out those products that can help you edit more efficiently in DaVinci Resolve. Let's continue. Now I'm going to jump into this next one and I'm going to go and add a defocus effect or defocus background, but you can also use any of the other blur effects that are here on the library. All right, I've already added the defocus. You can press Shift H and we can see the defocus already affecting me right here. But I'm going to have to de-invert these. So there it goes. And now the background is the only thing affected. If I deactivate these, you can see the effect is already taking place. And now all you have to do is modify these to whatever amount that you want. You can adjust the mask and add a little bit of more of blur right here. And that will be on the edges of the mask. So let's see that you, you can see it right there. But these are optional steps, right? If you've already liked the way that your mask it is working right here, you don't need to do that. Now you can go to advanced right here as well. And then here you can play around with the anamorphism uh, right here to make it a little bit stretchier, I think. And then you can also play around with the highlights to affect that. If you want it to be a little bit more creative or add a little bit of a creative touch to these, you can use the colorize right here. Although I'm not sure if these is actually intended for these. Maybe this was just intended for you to see the area that you were working on. But if you add these, then you can actually change the whole background. And then you can maybe match whatever your background color is with the light right here, for example. Uh, maybe a little bit purplish. And then we can play around with these uh, colorized effect right here to make it look a little bit cooler and interesting. Now you can use this technique on any type of video. For example, you can use these like on the sailing video. This is it with it and then this is it without that lens blur plus defocus mix that we have and then we have these little head carvings that use that effect as well and this is the head carving clip with the effect and also without the effect right there so yeah this is a pretty great so yeah this is a really easy and pretty efficient way of creating that really cool background blur or background bokeh effect to make your videos look a little bit more, I guess you could call this professional-ish. Now, correct me if I'm wrong. This is just what my experience has been. And I liked the end result. 
So yeah, if you watch this video all the way through here, make sure to leave a rocket in the comments so I can know that you've watched the video. And maybe I'll do a little shout out for the people that left a comment or a rocket in the comments of this video on the next video. Don't forget to check out the text effect packs and the paper full effects by clicking the link in the description. That is it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.